Jose Mourinho returns to Stamford Bridge in a potentially explosive bonfire night clash between title rivals Chelsea and Manchester United Red Devils have won three straight matches across all competitions, while the hosts are seeking to bounce back from a heavy Champions League defeat to Roma and record back-to-back -back home league victories. For the first time this season Chelsea have lost just one of their last 15 home league fixtures against today's opponents, while Mourinho is winless in six away matches as United boss against last season's top six United's 20 triumphs at Old Trafford in April ended a 12-match winless run against the Blues that stretched back to 201,219 place Everton, still under the caretaker management of David Unsworth, have lost five consecutive games and were dumped out of the Europa League on Thursday Watford have suffered successive losses for the first time under Marco Silva after climbing as high as fourth the Hornets have won three of their five league away matches so far this term, although have avoided defeat just once in their last ten trips to Goodison Park 16.30 GMT. Premier League kickoff Chelsea vs Manchester United Everton vs Watford 13 minutes 1536 Twitter at Watford 14 minutes 1535 Twitter at Everton 16 minutes 1533 Twitter at Minuted 17 minutes 1532 Twitter at Chelsea 22 minutes 1527 Official team news on the way. Stay tuned. 27 minutes 15-22 Everton vs Watford Sebastian Protel and Eunice Kabul are now back in training, although today's game will come too soon for both Watford defenders. Roberto Pereira is still missing with a hamstring injury sustained in the entertaining 42 defeat by Chelsea a fortnight ago, while Nathaniel Chalaba, Isaac Success, Craig Cathcart and Tommy Hoban are also out. Captain Troy Deeney accepted an FA charge of violent conduct relating to his ugly clash with Joe Allen during last weekend's 10 loss to Stoke and will miss the trip to Everton as well as matches against West Ham and Newcastle after being slapped with a three-game ban. Getty Images 32 minutes 15-17 Everton vs Watford Everton could be boosted by the return of centre-back Michael Keane, who has missed the last two matches after a gash on his foot originally suffered in September became infected and required hospital treatment. Cuco Martina also required a hospital visit on Thursday after landing awkwardly in the 30 loss to Lyon that saw the Toffees eliminated from the Europa League. He was given the all-clear after x-rays and scans but will be kept out for a couple of weeks as a precaution. The likes of Wayne Rooney, Leighton Baines and Phil Jagelka will all return after being rested in France. However, James McCarthy, Ross Barkley, Ramiro Funes Mori, Seamus Coleman and Yannick Bellassi remain in the treatment room. Getty Images 37 minutes 15-12 Chelsea vs Manchester United Mourinho was very coy with regards to his own his injury situation during Thursday's rearranged pre-match press conference, yet it emerged yesterday that Maru Anfellaini and Marcos Rojo had both travelled to London. It remains to be seen if they will be deemed fit enough to play, however. I have to wait a little bit, the manager said. Normally, the press conference is a bit later in the week, we still have Friday and Saturday to come. I'm not very optimistic, but I don't want to lie. I don't want you to say that I told a lie when I said there's no chance of recovering so I prefer just to say two more days to confirm my expectation. Michael Carrick, Paul Pogba and Zlatan Ibrahimovic are all likely to miss out once again, while Jesse Lingard was withdrawn at halftime of the midweek. Champions League win over Benfica after sustaining a painful blow to the back. Getty Images 44 minutes 15.05 Let's run you through all of the latest team news ahead of these final two matches of the weekend. Chelsea vs Manchester United converted wingback Victor Moses is definitely still sidelined for Chelsea, although Nagolo Kante is finally expected to return after missing the last six matches with a hamstring injury suffered on international duty with France and Bulgaria. The French midfielder has trained all week and rumours have abounded that Conti is considering reviving his old title-winning Leicester partnership with summer signing Danny Drinkwater. Getty 18 hours 2055 Good afternoon and welcome to Times UK's latest live coverage of Match Day 11 in the Premier League, the last before we must break again for another round of internationals. Tottenham vs Crystal Palace is already in the books and leaders Manchester City's clash with Arsenal continues, but here we look ahead to a pair of 16.30 GMT kickoffs headlined by a potentially explosive bonfire night showdown between Chelsea and Manchester United. The return of Jose Mourinho to his old stomping ground will always garner significant attention and there should be more fireworks today as second place United, winners of three consecutive matches across all competitions, attempt to inflict yet more misery on the defending champions after their 30 drubbing by Roma in midweek. 
Getty Images However, their poor recent record against Chelsea is well established one win in the last 15 away matches and one in the last 13 meetings overall and the notoriously conservative Mourinho is yet to win a road game against any of last season's top six as United boss. Things are evidently not harmonious behind the scenes in West London and owner Roman de Bramovic visited training earlier this week as the fresh air builds on Antonio Conte. Indeed, the Blues have already equaled their tally of home defeats from all of last season and are yet to win back-to-back -back league games on their own patch this term. At Goodison Park, rudderless Everton, still under the management of caretaker boss David Unsworth, will desperately hope to avoid losing for the sixth match running as they entertain Watford. The previously high-flying Hornets have dipped somewhat since a last gasp win over Arsenal took them up to fourth, suffering successive defeats under Marco Silva for the first time.